Today, I'm gonna to help you understand your cholesterol levels and your cholesterol labs in perimenopause and menopause because we know cholesterol levels will start to increase and we're all terrified that we're gonna have a heart attack. So what do the labs actually mean? What do you have to look at? And then also, how can we improve them? There are two types of cholesterol that we're gonna talk about. We have our HDL, which we want to be high because that is our good cholesterol. And then we have our LDL, which we want to be low because it is what we call our bad cholesterol. LDL is like a delivery truck. It is going to bring groceries or cholesterol to different parts of the neighborhood where it's needed. So taking it to your cells, for example. And what HDL does, it's kind of like the cleanup crew. It comes behind and picks up all the empty boxes from a delivery van from the LDL. So that way it doesn't accumulate. So we know LDL is going to accumulate. HDL helps clean it up. But that HDL to LDL ratio is not the only thing that matters. The truck size matters, the particles of your cholesterol. If we have a large fluffy LDL, it's like having a nice big truck. It can deliver more groceries in one load, which means there will be less trucks on the road, less likely to be car accidents, pileups, and buildups of cholesterol. Then we have smaller, more dense LDL. It can carry less cholesterol per load, but then there's more trucks on the road at any given time, which means there are more likely to be accidents, roadblocks, and have things build up in our arteries. Then we have something called APOV, which tells you how many total trucks are on the road, because you could have the same amount of groceries, so total cholesterol, but if there's more trucks on the road, we know that there's more likely to be car accidents, pile up some things will accumulate versus someone who could potentially have slightly higher cholesterol, but fewer trucks on the road will actually have a lower risk of experiencing a clogged artery. I recorded a podcast on all of this and so much more to help you understand why cholesterol increases during perimenopause and menopause, how to get those numbers into a better position naturally, because statins can actually make your health worse in the long term. But if you want more details on that, you can head to the caption.